Mid Journey is an awesome tool that generates amazing images, but it's not free. This is why in today's video, I'm going to show you alternative tools that are completely free and can come up with mind-blowing images, as you can see. Alright, the first tool we have on the list is Dreamlike. You can access the tool by going to dreamlike.art. I'm going to leave the link of the tool in the description. As you can see, the landing page looks very, very cool. To get started, you're gonna click get started right here, then you're gonna sign up with your Google account or Discord. After signing up, you're gonna click free forever get started. It's gonna take you to the studio page, and here you're gonna find all these. As you can see, it has three different types of styles. The Dreamlike Diffusion 1.0, the Dreamlike Photoreal 2.0, Stable Diffusion 1.5. The photo real one is like gives you like realistic photos as you can see. They look like very very like professional and very realistic. And this is like the normal one and this is a stable diffusion. We're gonna go with this one. And here we're gonna type our prompt. If you click the setting icon here, it's going to give you all the options you can do with your prompt. Here we're gonna describe the prompt. Here we're gonna type in the negative prompt which are the things that we want to exclude from our image. For example, we don't want the watermark, we don't want signature text. Here you're gonna find the guidance scale, which allows you to either prioritize prompt or prioritize creativity. So based on your needs, you're gonna choose either one. I'm going to leave it in the middle. Here we're gonna find the number of images to generate. I'm gonna select three. Here we're gonna choose either better quality, which will take like a longer time, or better speed, which will generate like a lower quality image, but faster at faster speed. Here we can choose the aspect ratio. I'm gonna choose the square one. For example, I'll type in my prompt, a man sitting in a chair on the sunset beach with a book in his hands, with Kilimanjaro in the background. And here you're gonna find the dream in this button. It says dream and next to it is a 4.7 credits, which means it's gonna use 4.7 credits from these 50 credits out of each prompt that we use. But don't worry, if you go to buy credits, we're gonna find the pricing plan, but we don't need to subscribe because we can get credits for free. There are several ways to earn free credits. If your balance is below 50 credits and you were online in the last 48 hours, we will add one credit to your balance each hour, which means they give you one credit for each hour that you spend online. Or you can share your work each time when someone creates an account after visiting your profile or a post, both you and the new user will get 50 credits or you can purchase in our daily challenges and other events. So don't worry if you run out of credits because credits actually goes up again. Let's hit the dream button to generate our image. We're gonna wait for a little bit and the image should be ready. Boom. As you can see, it generated three image of a man sitting in a chair on the sunset beach with a book in his hands. And as you can see, all these images look like very professional. And as you can see, all these images were generated by Dreamlike. Actually, let's change the prompt. Chihuahua oil on canvas in the style of L.S. Lowery, Salvador Dali, highly detailed, fine art, black and white in Manchester. I'm very excited to see what it comes up with. It generated all these images for me. I'm going to prioritize the prompt, I think. Now, and better quality. Let's see Dream again. Let's see the result if we better the quality and prioritize the prompt. And as you can see, the newly generated images are far better from the old ones. And finally, let's test this one. So a portrait of an Iron Man dressed as Batman. Front facing, highly detailed, science fiction, futuristic, 4K HU wallpaper, good pose. Okay, let's see what it comes up with. I'm very excited to see this one. Ooh. As you can see, they are very good. It is a combination of an Iron Man like in dress as a Batman. It's very creative. I will load this one. Now we're gonna keep the same prompt for this one, but we're gonna change the model. I'm going to go with this one, the realistic one. I'm gonna wait for it to generate the photos. This is like the realistic like collection. It's slightly different from the, like the previous one. This one don't look like uh, it was shot like with a camera, but these are like very realistic. So yeah guys, go around this tool, play with the settings and see what you can come up with. And now let's move on to the next tool. The next tool we have on the list is PicFinder. You can access the tool by going to pickfinder.ai. I'm also going to leave the link in the description. The first thing you're gonna see is this, this bar right here. You can write your prompt here. And as you can see here, it displays the number of images generated 11,500,000. 
the only downside of PicFinder that it doesn't show you previous examples or previous images that the users have generated but it is a completely free and a browse based tool so let's try it out i'm gonna write a cat with a batman outfit sitting on a tall building again hit enter and as you can see within seconds it generated the images it's not as good as the previous one obviously but will do the job you can like the image you can dislike the image you can download it you can play with the settings for example let's say we don't want like a square photo we want like a white angle photo I'm gonna click on white gonna type in the prompt again hit enter the images are gonna be wide now as you see and that's it for today's video Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos just like this one. And uh, don't forget to use this tool. The link will be in the description. Play around this tool, see what you can come up with, create some art. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one.